So uh, in this video, we're just going to show you um, how to render something really fast. So um, to see what your camera sees, because whatever your camera sees is what's going to render, select zero. So this is what's going to get rendered. So if you want to render, just go up here, render image. And that's what it's going to get rendered right here. Uh, it's not that great. <laughs> um, now, for whatever you're rendering, let's say property output scan, render properties, right? So I would go with psychos most of the time. Let's see, pan this out, noise threshold, sample, max samples, min samples. Uh, this will help you like, um, get a better render uh, and this will just take some tweaking. The more you do it though, uh, or the more samples you want, uh, the more time it's gonna take the process to render. But yeah, all right, so render again. It'll take a little bit longer now because you are asking for more samples to render, but it does look a more cleaner. All right, so just, we can just leave that be and let that render all right so one thing that's really important is like hey you know this is the camera and we don't want to really mess it up too much so to manipulate it to like to view everything we're seeing or that we wanted to see so it can render properly we can go to uh that we can go to the view camera to view it'll lock the camera and then here you can treat it as the viewport so let's say shift and then hold the middle mouse button and scroll and as you can see we can manipulate the camera as as the view and so there we now we have a uh, a new render uh, view uh, we can take off the camera lock and so if we change things up, like we'll move the, the viewport and then go to render, like whatever we already had set up when we locked it at first, it's gonna get rendered. So uh, it's really useful. I really hope that helps. But yeah, let me demonstrate again, uh, just to make things easier. So let's say, uh, you know, I have a bad, a bad, view of what is needed to render and I want to render something in, in a different view so I go to press zero on the number pad it'll bring up the camera then go to the view go to lock two or view lock lock the camera and then treat the camera as my viewport view and we can change things up like this see like with those uh, shortcuts or um, steps I showed you, scrolling, panning, and so forth. Now we have our new view that we want rendered, and this is good, right? So just to make sure we don't mess it up, we unlock the camera. So it's all good. Let's amp lock it again and press zero. Oh, sorry, press zero first. you'll see that the cameras in, in the view that we are locked in, in the last place. So you're good, all right. Then press render, and there you have it. You know, you're now you're rendering the appropriate uh, view with the camera, uh, the angle you want and everything. So hope that helps. It's really simple, but again, you know, it took me a while to learn too. So best of luck until the next video.